Yo, what about Vegetable Pizza video? And today, I'm going to be showing off Electrovire Meg Mortar again. This is kind of like an anti meta deck. And I think this deck actually has gotten a little bit better now thanks to Astral Radiance's meta. And of course, that could all be because of one specific card. And you all know what I'm talking about. But Electrovire Meg Mortar is a fun deck to play. I did play it when Brilliant Stars came out. And it was a lot of fun. Of course, it is a duo combo type deck. Both Electrovire and Magmortar do more damage when you have, you know, one of the other pieces on the bench. So if you have a Magmortar on your bench, Electrovire does 150 for one energy. If you have an Electrovire on your bench, Magmortar does 240 damage, which is really good. I mean, the Magmortar has to have damage on it, of course, for this possible. bolt. But thanks to Magma Basin, it's easy to pull that off. And the big thing with Electrovire is, of course, it is a Lightning-type Pokemon, of course, which is great right now versus a few cards, of course, Flying Pikachu and Palkia V-Star are weak to lightning, and they are super popular decks right now. And Electrovire does have a pretty good time versus those type of decks. Even Magmortar is really good. I mean, it does a lot of damage. 240 is great numbers. You can two-shot VMAX Pokemon with Electrovire and Magmortar comboing back-to-back. -back. And with a Choice Belt, you can do 270. And there's a lot more 270 HP V-Stars popping up, like Decidueye, Lucario, and Darkrai being a few to name a, to name a few of them. So yeah, before the video, of course, you have to sponsor Karkhaven TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PC Joe codes, get them at Karkhaven, of course. Lost Origins is coming out this Thursday, which I am super excited for. If you're going to be picking up any Lost Origins codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cabin. And if you do get any codes at Card Cabin, of course, at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. Shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Um, while you're down there, make sure to subscribe to the Shovel Squad. Uh, there should be a new video on the channel later today that I am posting. And of course, every Thursday, a new episode of the Shuffle Squad podcast goes live. And the episode coming out this Thursday is a huge episode. You do not want to miss it. I'm just saying, we got a really special guest on for this next episode. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. If you're into podcasts, definitely go give it a watch. Anyways, let's take a look at the list here. Um, the deck's pretty cool, and it did actually get a bit of an upgrade with Astral also. Not only just Palkia being good, but also Radiant Greninja is a great card in this deck. One of the things this deck tries to do is get energy in the discard pile for Bolt Explosion's Magma Basin combo. You'd kind of need Magma Basin and a Fire Engine discard for Electrovire's Attack Explosive Bolt, right? Magmartar has to have damage on it. You can accomplish that with Basin. The problem is... You have to play, you know, ways to get fire in the discard. And Greninja is a great upgrade because now we have extra draw to help us out. And you, we also get the ability to, to just dump a fire in the discard pile right away with concealed cards, which can be very beneficial to powering up your Make Mortar. I mean, you could play Make Mortar with like Gabe Job Bog, obviously, but you need to attack with Make Mortar. It is a very powerful card and it will win you a lot of a lot of the times you're going to win games because of Make Mortar's damage output. So the Basin Greninja combo is fantastic. It's a good upgrade to the deck. Battle VIP is kind of cool. I'm experimenting with Battle VIP. The thing with this deck is you constantly need to have like backup Meg Mortars and Electrifiers in play. At the very least, you need two of each in play at all times. Because of their attacks chaining the two, you kind of need to keep up the, the Electabuzzes and the Electrifiers in play. Like if you're attacking with Meg Mortar, you have to have an Electrifier on your bench. If you're attacking Electrifier, you have to have a Meg Mortar on your bench. In order to chain that consistently, you have to make sure you have two of each in play. So a lot of the time, you're going to have Electrifier, Electrifier, Meg Mortar, Meg Mortar in play, right? Because if one gets bossed, the chain breaks if you don't have another Magmar or Meg Mortar in play that turn, right? So that's kind of why you need to set up. And Battle VIP is great because you can play it and just get like Electabuzz, Electrifier, and Magmar, Magmar early on, which is fantastic. And you can always ditch it later on with Research or Quick Ball or Ultra Ball or something. So Battle VIP is very, very nice in here. And I'm loving it. Nice extra draw cards, you know, speed energy. The barrel's nice to have. That extra Duster Sizer is very good to keep flowing through your deck and drawing cards. And that's really about it for the list. I think it's a fun deck to play. Another cool thing, by the way, I learned is Electabuzz is a great Sobble Donker. If your opponent just opens with a Sobble or they leave with a Sobble, you can just sometimes kill with Haymaker. Like, if they have a bad start, you can just Haymaker a Sobble, which is really cool. It's one of the things I learned about this deck that actually makes it pretty fun is Haymaker can be kind of useful. Um, sometimes it gives you that extra prize lead you need. So Electabuzz, pretty good with Haymaker. But uh, let's go show the deck up on PC Show and show off this combo. Maybe we'll run to Palkia, maybe we won't. We'll see if we even get a long game against Palkia. You never know. All right, we're going first, which is good. If we can get a, maybe a good setup here, we might be okay. And yeah, I'd say we got an okay hand. I like it. Maybe we can get a battle VIP pass here off of Electabuzz. And we can get a fire energy so I can conceal cards too and then draw even deeper. Three basics, turn one. What are we playing against? Might be a single prize deck. Great. Ooh, Charizard. Hey, let's go. The battle VIP. Do we have a barrel? We do. Beautiful. I love to see it. It's music to my ears. All right, let's get these two lads. Speed Lightning. Okay. No fire, but you know what? I'll take the Electabuzz. We'll bench Kurt. I'll just bench the whole gang. Why not? The only 
downside of this hand is Bruno is not the best supporter to play, but still probably fine to play it. And they're going to donate me a Magma Basin, which is very generous. Ooh, they're going to Marnie me. Okay. I should have Choice Spelled to the Magmar, actually. Is Magmar... Well, no, they could have bossed me. Choice Spell is good, though, because Magmar can one-shot Charizard. Okay, they Marnie me into a pretty good hand. I'll take it. The problem is, what am I going to Ultra Ball for? All right, what do we draw? Okay, well, I, I make my mind up. Uh, Put that there. Okay. Two filler cards. Perfect. Now, do I grab... The barrel, oh, there's so many cards to grab. I hate it, bro. I guess we just get the barrel so we can get some draw in line. So I might end up just doing Marnie. I just need to get Electabuzz and everything. Okay, we'll do the barrel first. More supporters, yeesh. We'll research. There we go, beautiful. I was gonna say, as long as I can find like energy for conceal cards, get the Magmortar. I need to get another Magmortar down. Conceal cards, see what we can get here. Another Magmar, maybe, nice. Balloon's good. All right, we'll put that there, and we will smack for 120. That seems good to me. If I can find Choice Spell next turn, I can knock out this Charizard if it becomes a V-Star. I don't even know if they can attack next turn, actually, to be honest. I mean, we're in a pretty good spot. Our hand is looking good. I even have Boss in hand, which I can use if I really wanted to. Yeah, I could Boss a Charizard and knock it out. That's tempting. Though, to be fair, I do need to KO Arceus. Arceus also has a lot of HP, so it's probably good to just go after the Arceus here, I think. It is very reassuring, though, that Basin's going to stay in play for the entire game. They do get a Trini Charge off here, which is pretty good for my opponent. I still think I just hit the Arceus, to be honest, because the Arceus is still kind of a threat no matter what. Um, the only problem is I don't have a follow-up supporter, because I had to burn all those. Oh, well, they're playing Radiant Zard, too. Okay, that's a little bit more sketchier, because this thing can't be one-shot by Electivire. It's a little more sketchier. You know what? I wonder if there was a world where we should have just went, we should have built up for High Voltage Current. That might have actually been the better play, to be honest. So I could just hit everything for 50. I don't know. Eh, I don't know if that was actually a good idea. We're going to have to KO this Charizard through Magmortar. That does make things a little tougher, but not too tough. Not too bad. Um, I'm just going to keep up the Basin Train here and just kind of keep doing my thing. You know, I kind of like it. Nice. So yeah, do I just boss here? I can KO the Zard, or I can just... Hit the Arceus. I think we would rather just use this turn to set up Arceus to be KO'd. Kind of like that, you know. I kind of like just killing the Arceus here, I think, so. Or hitting the Arceus, sorry, so I can KO it. Need Choice Bell. No Choice Bell. That's fine. I mean, I can knock him out with Megmortar if I really wanted to, so I might just go for the KO with Megmortar. I should have maybe grabbed a Megmar and then off that Quick Ball. Because I'm tempted to just go for the knockout with Megmortar here. Well... We'll see. Tool Scrapper. Ooh, that's annoying. There goes my air balloon. Good thing I haven't played a choice spell yet. Well, you know what? If they base into Charizard again, I can knock it out with Magmortar if they evolve it too. Let's see if they get a knockout here. They have a research. They just need to find the V-Star. They do lose a Crobat. That might be relevant. They do go to the V-Star. So if they base into this, I can knock it out with Magmortar's Bolt Explosion. Spicy Curry. Okay. I mean, if they stay burned, sure. I mean, as long as they have, what, 40 damage on them? Oh, they're switching. Bruh. They're going to go for the care of the V-Star. Okay, fair play. Hmm. How much HP does this have? 140? I think we do KO the Arceus here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to knock out the Arceus. Yeah. We shut up their energy acceleration. Seems like, well... Oh, that Charizard, though. Hmm. This is tough. I should have Quick Ball. I definitely should have Quick Ball for a Magmar, not Electabuzz. Definitely a misplay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Thankfully, we got Air Balloon. So, all right, what do we draw? Okay, that's good. I, mean, I guess we'll bench the Electabuzz. Whatever. Um, I guess we have to bench it. Can base in here. Attach. Yeah, I'm just going to kill the Arceus. I'm totally cool with that. The barrel for three. Bruno. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get that Arceus out of here. The Arceus is kind of a threat. Let's be real here. Let's see what our prize is. Okay, that's a great prize. Okay, cool. Now, I do need Choice Spell next turn because I do want to be able to KO this thing because I could go with another Magmortar, which I'm tempted to do, right? So, I can one-shot this with Magmortar. So, I'm really hoping we can maybe find... A thing. I'm surprised. Why did they evolve that? I guess I have three Charizards, but still. 
Candela. Oh, no. They only get two cards out of that. They flip tails. You love to see it. So, yeah, if I can find Choice Belt here, I can kill this Charizard with Magmortar, and we're going to be sitting pretty. We got the V-Star. Okay. Let's see if I get a knockout on this Zard here. Let's see if it's possible. All right. Let's see we draw. Just need Belt. Ooh, boss. Nothing to KO, though. Oh, but I cannot... Oh, you know what? No, never mind. I was like, oh, the basin matters on the charge. The radiant zard actually doesn't. I am incorrect in saying that. It does not matter. Doing a Bruno. We have both belts in the deck. Plus, we have the uh, the the evil wind sense, which is good. All right, so let's. Could be bear. I don't want ultra ball though. I think we're just gonna Bruno and pray we find choice belt. Here we go. We do get it. Beautiful. We do get the belt. So I can just KO the active. That's fine. I guess this thing can attack. But they can't attack twice. So that's still kind of relevant. That thing can't attack twice. You know? I do need to find Rod. We'll see how that goes. The barrel for one. Oh, I could have quick ball away the basin. I should have done that. I keep forgetting we don't need it. Okay, Pulse Explosion. You're dead. All right, what do we got off the prizes here? What do we got? What do we got? Energy is fantastic. Rod. There we go. There we go. See, I needed the rod. I needed to put back a few energies, right? I need to get a couple fires back. We'll see what my opponent does here. They go Charizard. They can knock me out with Radiant Zard, and I don't have another Magmortar at the moment. I do have research, though. Um, I'm also, like, one boss away from kind of winning, too, so we can kind of get to that point. But this thing can't attack me twice. So if this thing does hit me here, which obviously it's going to do, they can't use it twice, which is kind of the good thing. So that's kind of the the relevant thing about this scenario that we're in. This thing has 310 HP left, or 290 HP. So if it takes one more base, then I can kill with Magmortar with a choice belt on. Okay. Here we go. We need to build up another Magmortar. That's the plan. They haven't played a boss yet, have they? They have not. That is a little sketchy. They might struggle to move their active, though. Sure. Put that there. Um, put that there, sure. We'll quick ball. And then we'll O-Rod do both. Get back Magmortar and Magmar. I could have got back double Magmortar, actually. That's what I should have done. Get some energies back. The barrel here for three. Okay. I was going to say, I don't want to play this, uh, I don't want to play this research because I wanted to hold on to stuff, so good thing we didn't get we didn't have to play that. We just punch them with Electrovire. And the good news is they might be stuck. Maybe I should have attached Energy O to the active, though, because if they don't move, I could just do High Voltage Current, hit everything for 50, which kind of sets up better math. So once again, maybe I should have worked towards the High Voltage Current, in all honesty. That might have been a better play. It's fine, though. Entei. Oh, they have an Entei. I was going to say, they may not have anything here. They do have an Entei. However, I will be able to just win the game here. Oh, they have Air Bloom. Well, look at that. Do they have an energy? They have one card in hand. They have to have an energy. No, they're going to go charge out. Okay. It's 160 HP. So if they boss, if they have a boss in their hand, then I'm a little, it's a little bad. They don't got a boss. All right. I think that's GG's, right? They have how much HP left? 160. So I can just promote the barrel. I can, you know, attach, basin, retreat, and twin explosion. Or Bull Explosion for the knockout. And that's a dub. Versus my opponent's Radiant Charizard, uh, Charizard V-Star Arceus deck. Firebox deck, I guess we'll call it. The good thing is, base is stuck in play the entire game. Uh, the deck did what it was supposed to do in that match. Magmortar took the big one of KOs that it needed to, and that's really all that matters. And uh, I will take it. All right, we won the coin flip here with Electrifier. We will go first, especially if we're playing against Arceus here. And we'll see what we can open up with here. Ooh, nice. A good hand. We got Battle VIP Pass. We open up with Mana Fee, which isn't the best starter, but... It's fine. We can just retreat it next turn. Our opening hand is fantastic. All right. What are we playing against? What kind of Arceus deck? Might not be Arceus after all. Don't think I've seen an Arceus deck play that before. So let's grab these two. Uh, check the prizes. We do have our Bidoof in the barrel. Boss, Marnie. Did prize a research. I think we prize a Lightning and a Speed Lightning. That's fine. We'll play the Speed Lightning. Okay, nice. We can quick ball away quick ball for Bidoof. And pass. There we go. That's 
basically the ideal turn one. That's why Battle VIP Pass goes so hard in this deck. Now, let's see what my opponent is going to do here. Now, if they're playing Arc Intel, that's a pretty tough matchup because we can't one-shot Arceus, so... We're hoping they're not playing Arc Intel because that's just a pretty tough matchup. But they're playing Palkia, which they are playing Palkia. Palkia is a lot better of a matchup for this deck. Hmm. If I come out a boss here, I can just KO that Palkia right away. That'd be pretty good, actually. We'll see. This matchup's pretty good. We do want to protect the Manaphy, though, so I can't snipe my bench here with any shenanigans coming from that Greninja. And there's Irita getting played, so they are going to go straight for the Irita. Actually, I don't have to put Electrovire in play. I can just Haymaker knock out this Sobble. That's actually pretty epic. That's one of the cool things about this Electabuzz. Uh, it's when you play against Sobble decks, you can just KO the Sobbles with Electabuzz. That's just kind of something, something to note. They're going to get a really good start here. They have the Irita, probably getting the Battle VIP 2 to establish their board. We'll see if they're playing Ice Rider Palkia or just straight Palkia. We'll see which one it is. Ice Rider Palkia is still okay, but straight Palkia is obviously like the best matchup we could have asked for over Ice Rider. Because Ice Rider, I mean, we can take Ice Rider by going like, hey, with Electabuzz, K with Megmortar, but it's a little sussy wussy. They are going to play the thing here. They can build up their hand actually, which is good because I am going to Marnie them most likely. Unless I do get a boss, and I am going to boss that Palkia and knock it out, but we'll most likely just be doing Marnie this turn anyways. I would like to draw a Fire Energy so I can retreat a Mana Fee with a Fire instead of wasting one of my Speed Lightnings. So that would be ideal if I can draw a Fire Energy. We'll see, though. So I want to get another Electabuzz down here and another Magmar. My bench, I think, wants to be Electabuzz Magmar. No Radiant Greninja, unfortunately. They grab Palkia. I am going to Marnie them, so all those cards they just grabbed are getting Marnie to the bottom of the deck. They could do keep calling here. That's a bad idea. Well, they could keep calling, but if they fill their entire bench up with Sobbles, they're going to get knocked out. If that Once that Palkia goes down, they'll have no second Palkia to fall back on. That's a bad idea. We're just going to attach the Palkia and pass. No keep calling, really. There's research. Okay, we're definitely going to Marnie them, though. Okay, well, Eva Winsense here for Barrel. And... I'm actually going to... Hmm. Kind of a, I guess we'll quick ball with the research. It's a tough decision, but I do need to make sure I'm getting stuff into play here while I still have the quick ball. The barrel. What do we got? Perfect. I just wanted a fire energy for the Manaphy. And we'll Marnie them. I don't have to go Electrovire here. I can just kill them with Haymaker. It doesn't really make a difference, but, you know, it's just something to note. Ooh, that was a terrible Marnie. This hand is not very good. I do have Training Court. Or Basin, sorry. Um, but this hand is really bad. This is not a good hand. I can KO them and take a prize. Okay, now this hand is a lot better. Okay, I was about to say, this hand is pretty bad. <laughs> Thankfully, that Ultra Ball may have just saved us from getting bodied here by my opponent. Because this that, that was this is a bad hand. Even if they get rid of my Stadium and I get to play like an extra card, it's like still really bad. So, Thankfully, we did draw that Ultra Ball. Now, let's see what my opponent goes for here. Um, they could go for... A boss play this turn on my barrel which would be very annoying because all i have to do i think i need electabuzz energy and choice belt to knock out this palkia my opponent actually just concedes okay well i mean i'll take it i mean it's a deck that can be palkia my opponent didn't want to play it out i didn't have the count on palkia or anything but they concede the game anyways and i guess we'll take it i guess my marnie did a lot of damage so there you go all right we won the coin flip i'll take it gonna go first and hope for the best yeah that's good in my books i like it can get hopefully but barrel's not a prize it's basically what we're praying for is but barrel's not a prize i could also do conceal cards so we'll see what are we playing against here a lightning deck canceling cologne rope okay i don't know what this could be i'll have to see though all right an extra card is good all right we got a marnie beautiful bolt hund okay we're playing as a bolt hund deck that's fine with me so let's go battle vip pass i guess we'll get bidu finger ninja because like my opponent doesn't have much going on so, I mean, I'm probably safe. I can probably just conceal cards for now and just kind of set up. Yeah, see, it all worked out. And I can do the basin now in case they Marnie me. I'll just pass. Because, like, I don't need another Electabuzz just yet. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Just kind of get the setup here, set everything up, get the Magmar build up. Actually, I could probably just go make Mortar next turn. If I can find, like, an Air Balloon and then Electrifier and an Energy, maybe I could just go straight for a turn two Bolt Explosion knockout on this Bolt Hunt. That would be pretty spicy. To be honest, I do have boss in hand too, so maybe we can cook something up. We'll see. I'm tempted to go for that play. 
I just don't know. It's probably just both on VMAX, right? They got canceling clone in case they... What? Well, I don't... You don't really need an out time mill tank, though, I feel like. I got blue minion. Nice. That's a great boss target. So now I think I want to maybe just hold on to the boss tank. Because boss is really good against blue minion. Because it does allow us to just take an instant knockout. So it's 30 damage. Switch with one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, sure. They do have Adventure's Discovery. So you can get a bunch of Vs. I do have a Marnie coming their way, though. So unless they're grabbing three basic Vs, I am going to Marnie them if they're trying to hold on to extra stuff. Oh, they're playing a Dragonite V-Star deck. Ooh. Okay, it's actually pretty spicy. They're playing a Dragonite V-Star Bolton deck. Okay. Interesting concept. Yeah, we do have a Marnie coming their way, though. Let's see if they switch to the bench. They do. Okay, that's good. I actually like hitting the uh, Dragonite here first with Electrifier, if we can find it, of course. Probably going to get rid of the Bruno in the Basin. I do really want to get a Barrel here just before we do anything else. The Barrel first here before I do Marnie. Hopefully that's correct. Yeah, it should be fine. We do get Concealed Cards. I have to Marnie. I can't really research away these bosses. Nice. There we go. Now I just need... I need to get the Magmar down. Okay, I need a Light Energy here. Can we find a Light Energy this turn? We do. We get Speed Lightning too, which is good. Um, Yeah, that's good. Do this first. Quick ball. Away the quick ball. Grab ourselves a second Magmar. And we can base into it. Kind of build it up. And we can hit for 150 here. Because I don't think they're KOing me. If they're going Dragonite V-Star, they're going to use their V-Star power. And they're not going to attack me with the Dragonite. So I'm going to be able to just two-shot them with Explosive Bolt here. Which is good. And we do get, get to protect those bosses' orders, which is good. So we can boss Luminion next turn. and Or and not next turn, but any point in the game, really. We'll see how that goes. There's another Quick Ball getting played. My opponent does get rid of a switch. Do they have a Crobat in the deck or another Luminion to work with? They do have another Luminion, but now I can just go double boss if I really wanted to. So now that option is available to me, which is good. They do grab another Discovery. Okay. That's fine with me. Because, yeah, I'm going to be able to kill their Dragonite. Unless they put a big charm or they cape it, the Dragonite's going to get slain by the Electrovire. We still have the Magmortar lurking in the background, too, which is pretty good. Um... Yeah, they get Bolt on Dragonite. Dragonite does have 280. Now, Bolt on VMAX is going to be one of those cards. We do have to hit it twice. So we are going to have to go Electrovire into a Megmortar to finish the Bolt on VMAX off. It's a little bit tankier. Uh, but that's fine, though. That's fine with me. And we're going to be able to KO them. Let's see if they get enough energy in play to kind of build up their Bolt on. See, I thought they were playing a Flaffy deck. But I now I understand why the Canceling Clones in the deck. Let's see how much energy they're able to pull off here. They don't need a whole lot of energy because, like, everything in my deck is, like, really squishy. Oh, they got five energy. Six energy. Not bad. Half of the energy. That's pretty good. And there's a boss. All right, let's do this. And should probably get another Electrovire here. I don't want to Ultra Ball anything away. I think we just knock out their active, right? And then I can boss next turn, knock out the Luminion if I want. Seems okay. Okay, Air Balloon's a good prize. Nice. That's a good two good prizes. We got the Pivot and oh, we got a second Meg Mortar. Now, let's see what my opponent does here. They could have a boss. If they boss me this turn, that's perfect, because I'll just boss them back. Knock out Luminion. Um, now they have a Peony. Get rid of their entire hand. Do they play a Radiant Venusaur? I mean, they can get a Supporter. I'm not going to Marnie them, obviously, so there's that. But have a few options. I can knock out the Luminion with boss here, or I can just hit the active. I think we just... Oh, you know what I could do? I actually could boss KO the Bolton with Megmortar. I could... No, I need energy, though. That's not going to happen, actually. If I knock a Luminion here, then I can kind of go for a play where I hit the active bolt hunt. Set it up. Sonya Discovery. That's fine. It's not a draw card. It's not going to draw them cards. No Stadium either is good. Basin sticking for a while is nice. I'm going to have to probably lose this one soon. Okay. So I can take out a Luminion, or I can just hit the active and two-shot it with Megmortar, which is tempting to do. Let's see what our top deck is. The other air balloon. Okay. Hmm. So attach. Play the rod. The thing is, though, we need to get another Electrovire in play. That's the problem with this. Is like, if I don't get my other Electrovire here, then things... Or my other Electabuzz, and it gets awkward. So maybe what we should do is just two-shot Bolt Hunt and then boss it down the road. I think that's probably fine. going to research. I don't want to draw my other boss here. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, it's fine. So we get another 
Electabuzz. I didn't get nothing. I didn't get energy off that, unfortunately. I was hoping to maybe get an energy there so I can get some more energy flowing. Yeah, we're just gonna do the little one-two punch, I think, here. Let's burn these. The barrel here for a few cards. What do we got? Speed lightning. There we go. Put that on Electabuzz. Draw some cards. There's a fire. Nice. Ah! Uh, I don't have to play that. I can hold it. I'll just explosive bolt. I'm gonna hold the energy because I might attach it next turn instead of doing basin. It's fine. We'll just hit the bolt hunt here. And if they do not move it, I'll just knock it out with Meg Mortar. Even if they do, I can play the game where I just keep pivoting between Electrovires. If I really have to, I can just kind of go in between Electrovires here, keep punching this bolt hunt over and over again. And eventually one of the bolt hunts will fall to Meg Mortar. They do get more stuff out of this though. It's a bit harder than I thought, just because they do have because they built up two bolt hunts really quickly, they can just move between the two. So it does make things awkward, especially. Because I lost my boss. And maybe I should have just played the boss, to be honest. Oh, but they stay in the active. They do not switch. That's a huge, huge, huge bonus for me. Okay, we'll take that. So now I can just KO them here with Meg Mortar. So let's go Electrovire. I can do Conceal Cards. Plus I can maybe play the Speed Lightning or something. Yeah, that's what I just need to find Electabuzz, right? So we can retreat. I can attach. And I can build up the other Meg Mortar. Play the Marnie. I'm going to dig a little bit, try to find boss for next turn. So that's all I really need now is boss's order. And there it is. So now next turn, I can just win the game. So let's knock out their active. And next turn, if they do not move, I can just boss Luminion for game. That's one of the cool things with Electivire is it's a pretty good Luminion Slayer. There's another energy, which is good. Research is decent. And we got another research. I prized two of my researches. Didn't even realize that. Would you look at that? Very interesting deck for my opponent. I think if they maybe played a little bit more draw cards, the deck maybe would have flowed a little bit better. Because I don't think we're any boss or anything, right? They just don't seem to have much going on. They're going to kill my Martar, and then I can kill with Electivire. I could also 1-2 punch the Bolton if I really wanted to. I even have enough time to kind of just 1-2 punch it here. But we have game in hand. They did not find a Marnie or a Roxanne. So unfortunate for my opponent, I will walk away with a win here. We can just promote Electivire. And I can just boss Luminion and take the dub. Once it actually goes through. There we go. And Explosive Bolt for the game versus my opponent's really interesting Bolt on Dragonite deck. I do like the concept. I've tried out Dragonite 2 with uh, VMAX Pokemon. Just never got around to doing a video. I think my list was like Dragonite Double Pikachu. Like Flying Pikachu and uh, Serving Pikachu. Which is a cool concept. I think Dragonite V-Star is a really cool card. I still want to experiment with it. The Bolt on idea wasn't bad. My opponent was able to pop off. I mean, they got, what, six energy going? Just I feel like if maybe they fixed some of the uh, draw consistency in their deck. I think the deck actually... Could flow a lot better and might not be too terrible. That'll be for the video on the Electrifier deck. I know that Palky game was kind of underwhelming. It's the only Palky deck I could actually run into on the ladder while recording this deck. Um, but it is what it is. I think it's a pretty good anti-Palky deck, right? Electrifier does hit the right numbers. I am debating on playing a third choice belt in this deck, by the way. I think this deck maybe should play like one other choice belt. I think three choice belts would be good. Honestly, the deck plays well. The Greninja is really helpful. Battle VIP pass is really good. Again, this deck does require you to have multiple... Uh, Electi Electivires and Magmortars in play constantly, so you're always being able to kind of chain their multi-attacks. And Battle VIP did prove to be very useful in this deck. Barrel's really helpful. This deck flowed pretty well, and I think it played pretty good. It's a good anti-Palkia deck. It's just the one Palkia deck we played against. They didn't really stick the game out, but you get my point, right? If you just want to play a Lenny deck, and if you haven't run into Palkia while playing this deck yourself, hey, you know what? You could have a good time. But that'll be for me on the video on Meg Mortar Electrifier. If you all enjoyed enter the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 33,000 subscribers. I do want to appreciate and thank you for all the support on the content as we lead into Lost Origins coming out on Thursday, so get hyped for that. I am going to be streaming Lost Origins, of course, after I'm done recording my video and op doing the pack opening video. So if you haven't followed my Twitch yet, make sure you go follow my Twitch down below. I'm on the road to 8,000 followers. I appreciate it if you follow that. Go check out the Shovel Squad down below. And if you get any codes at Karkav and use code LDF and all that good stuff, all that goody, goody stuff. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for me. Bye-bye.